Hello everybody. I am Asadur Zaman Biswas. I, in my previous class, I discussed about JavaScript while loop basic. And today, in this tutorial, in this class, I like to give you few more ideas about while loop with examples. So let us start. Firstly, I write here your script tag <coughs> script language uh, javascript today in this example i will show you how we can use a while loop in array right okay in our previous tutorials we discussed about array and in any how we can use this while loop okay so let us first make an array so how to make array uh, this is the array we are making on this array we like to use our javascript okay in array in zero index we are keeping 10 in one index we are keeping 20 in third third index we are keeping 30 fourth index we are keeping 40 something like that so here we make an array right now uh, from on this array we like to use while loop for what we like to take the value from array one by one and we will add the we will add each each element of array that means we will calculate the summation of the elements of an array okay so look first thing of while loop is initialization means from where this loop will start so if we look at array the array starts from zero index so we like to start our while loop from zero so we initialize the value of i as zero right now we write while loop and inside while loop we write down the condition how long the loop will be executed until all the elements of array are added right okay so we will continue the array dot length array dot length here oh, what is the meaning of length length means one two three four there are four indexes inside this array so this length means four right so this is the starting of our while loop and this is the end so what we like to do we like to calculate the summation of the elements of array so to store the summation we like to take a variable that is your sum and by default we keep inside this variable value zero right so what we will do here, we will simply add the element of array one by one, right? So the name of the array is ARR and we will check uh, each element of array one by one, right? The value of i is now zero, so uh, it will take the value of zero index that means 10 that means this refers this array index i refers this 10 and this 10 will be added with sum means this 10 will be added with zero so the result will be 10 so inside sum we will get 10 right so after first iteration we will increment the value of i we increment the value of i one right so this i will become 
1 right and again from here the loop will jump to here to check the condition sorry here I wrote something wrong uh, yes less than equal to so the value of i is now 1 and the length of array is 4 and the condition is true here 1 is less than equal to 4 so the condition is true so these lines will be executed again right inside sum what is the what is inside sum inside sum there is 10 and this i refers 1 that means this array 1 refers this 20 now so this 20 will be added with sum means 10 so the result will be 30 now okay again the value of i is incremented 1 so this i will become 2 right but till here the condition is true because the value of i is true array length is 4 and 2 is less than equal to 4 that is true so these two lines will be executed so inside this sum there is 30 and this one is i is 2 means a r r 2 a r 2 means this is 30 so 30 is added with this sum 30 so the result 60 will be stored here now again i is incremented and from 2 this i will become 3 and if we come to here then what we will get 3 is less than 4 the condition is the condition is true here i wrote one thing wrong this equal to will not be here 3 is less than 4 this condition is true that's why again it will enter inside the loop and these two lines will be executed right now inside sum is 60 this i is 3 that means array a r r 3 refers this 40 so this 40 will be added with this sum inside this sum there is 60 that means 60 will be added with 40 result will be 100 so inside sum this sum there will be 100 now 3 is incremented 1 so this i will become 4 and now 4 less than error length is also 4 4 less than 4 this condition is not true so the loop will terminate now let us display the output that we got using while loop on array we will display what the output we got from here alright so now let us Save it. Let us save it. Okay. Look what the output we are getting. We are getting 100. So in this way we can. In this way we can use our while loop on array to perform any task on the elements of array. So looping is also so essential for array. So after this. I will come in the next class about few more discussions about your looking in JavaScript. So, for today.